Okay, so some of you have asked for a house tour of, of uh, our house here in the Philippines. Try to get some a little bit better light. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just give you a quick tour. Nothing too in-depth, but uh, here we go. Okay. Try to reduce it down here. Okay. There's the, the top. Up on top we have the, this whole middle section is just a stair column. You'll see that. Then we've got a full upstairs patio area. Then the second floor. Second floor is where we live. And we've got a little balcony there. And then the bottom floor is where my brother-in-laws and their families live. So we'll, we'll get started. All right, down there's a couple of little houses. So, all right, let's get started. Little gate, got our initials on it. There's the door to one brother-in-law's apartment or and the other one. So, we'll open the door. And we'll go up the steps. You got these little lights that come on. Those are nice at night. And then we thought it'd be nice to put in this glass block, just kind of so it's not so dark, just like a concrete wall. When you come up the steps, you also got this. See, I'm just opposite the steps here. We got glass block all along here. And then you turn and you walk this way. And you can look out. We got screens on all the windows. And there's the upstairs. So we'll go up there in a minute. I'm gonna show you the our living quarters where we live. This is our living room, TV area. We've got an air conditioner in case it gets too hot in here in the evening. Sometimes we'll turn it on, not too often. And then we've got screens on all the doors and our little balcony. We can look out in both ways. We can look down if we see something going on. Uh, my wife's beloved wind, wind chimes. Oop. Trying to shut the glass door. Okay, and we've got a little dinette. We bought here this last time with glass, glass dinette. And we've got a cat, otherwise known as Ming, Ming Ming. In our kitchen, um, we actually have granite countertops and uh, cabinetry everywhere. It is unfinished at this point. We are going to finish it hopefully before we leave. We got a really nice stove. I'm not sure where she got that. Where do you know where she got it? SM maybe. SM maybe. I don't remember the brand. It seemed like it's some sort of Japanese. Fuji Denso. Fuji Denso? Yeah. Okay. Bought me a coffee pot the other day because I couldn't deal with the the Nescafe brands anymore, or Copico, or any of those brands. So you can kind of see what the uh, the glass block looks like from the inside in our living quarters on the second floor. So come around through here. We've actually got two doors that open up to the stairs, so it's kind of an open air. We we wanted to keep it keep it all open and we've got a good utility closet again we're kind of in the process of 
doing some fish finishing, so we've got plenty of storage area here. And then in here, we call this, we call this Nanai's room. And, oh, can't really see. There we go. It's a picture of my mother-in-law. She's actually passed away uh, about three or four years ago. And this was to be her room. She never got to see it. So... This house was kind of built in memory of her, dedicated to her. You can see this area here. I'm gonna show you some, like this door. See how pretty that is? That's what all this dry wood is gonna look like. That's our plan is to get all this throughout the house finished like this. We picked up a uh, varnish stain combination at ace hardware it's called it just says like i think it's it's the lightest color chestnut or something like that with a matte finish i don't like the slick finishes i like the matte finish and yeah so we've got tons of storage here Got a little desk built in shelves i hope no dead bodies or anything fall out of here i don't know what's in here yeah we've got Tons of storage. More storage than we want or need. And these couple little uh, built-in side tables, those are nice. Somebody really did a great job. All of this stuff is, is handmade. The guy came over to the house, we told him what we wanted, and uh, he built it. So that's all handmade, this bed is uh, made out of steel, steel tubing, welded, cut, welded, put together by hand. It's got a nice mattress in there. I personally picked out all the tile, which I like it. I'm glad I got it. Then we have the small bathroom. It's a typical Filipino bathroom, but we do have heated water if we need it. Draining the floor, tile all the way up the walls, small sink and toilet. And we don't have a cabinet put in yet, but we do have the wiring put in. So, all right. And this is just an area, we kind of designated it for my office at some point, just to pay bills, to work on editing videos, things like that. Cat, he's getting around. All right, so walk into our bedroom and this is our master bath I, I really like that i couldn't that's one thing i couldn't wait to see was our master bath because they did a fine job on it they did an excellent job the toilet is a upgraded just a nice design the cabinets are really designed nice we even have the little switch there that turns on above there like a makeup light of some sort you got a really good looking guy there he's doing all the videos for us <laughs> and then the shower you know it's 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 pretty standard got the water heater place to put everything i like things neat and orderly and then again this this door this is what all of our our woods are going to look like in here I just think that's beautiful, really. Just a minimalist finish on it, not too shiny. And then we have these handmade little end tables, side tables, bedside tables, and we're gonna finish those out. I think I'm gonna start on that today. Again, this, uh, this bed is all steel, steel frame, handmade, designed, hand cut. Now, See the steel, steel legs, and it's no box springs, but tell you what, these mattresses that we've got, we're from, you guys probably know, MF, uh, some kind of foam company makes these mattresses. I'm telling you what, for a couple hundred dollars, they are some of the best mattresses I've ever slept on in my life. So I'll turn off the light there.
I have lights everywhere. All right, so we've been to the kitchen already. There's some of my wife's photography stuff that she's done. She's really good at decorating. It's one of her paintings, actually. She does what's called acrylic pour. All right, let's go upstairs. It's really hot today. Got our fire extinguisher, that's a must. Sorry, I'm trying to put my glasses back on here. All right. So we've got lighting all the way up through here. And these, these stairs are all handmade, hand cut, hand just designed by the metal worker that did it. These windows were all put together piece by piece. The guy did all of our windows, all the same ones. So we've got a screen. We've got nice tinted glass throughout the whole thing. A storm door here for rain. And then up here, it's gonna get a little warm if you're out in the sun. The Filipino sun is, it's very unforgiving. <laughs> but you get about 4.30 out here at night. I think I'll try to do a video 4.30 to five o'clock till dark. It's really beautiful out here. The sun sets way back there in the east, goes down behind those trees. It's just kind of breezy up here. You stand out here on the edge and it's just like standing on the, the Titanic or something. It's just the wind blows. Maybe a little upstairs uh, CR up here. So typical Filipino bathroom. All right, and then in back, we've got a built-in sink, which we need to get our tile put in, but you know, it's it's functional. Uh, I had them build me a grill. Last time I was here, I didn't have a grill. So we got a, again, a Filipino style grill. You'll see these like, built like this on the street. They'll sell isao isao, which is like intestines on a stick. Who doesn't love intestines on a stick? Come on. And then, uh, if we ever wanted to collect water, rainwater, we've got it set up to where we can just put a, a tank here or something like that and collect water. We got a lot of plants back here. My wife's growing several different types of, of uh, food plants, vegetable plants. And then she's got alakbati growing there. Alakbati over there. Syrup with uh, mango, of course, shrimp ray, and then all of her little starters. So, yeah. And then uh, somebody asked about the Baha'i Kubo. There it is. That was built up here. It's, it's funny. How much does it cost to get a Baha'i Kubo built, you might ask? And uh, not much, because when we built the house, we saved all the bamboo scaffolding and we paid a guy labor, took him a few days, probably five, 600 pesos a day. And he built this for us. Of course, we paid him. We got steps right here. Got a nice floor. Benches on the side. We hang clothes sometimes outside, so we've got that and we've got some hangers here but most of the time you can sit in here if there's any breeze at all you just sit down and just kind of relax uh, and catch any breeze that's out there so yeah got the Baha'i Kubo we got a grill we got the upstairs patio which in the evenings we spend a lot of time up here Till the mosquitoes say it's time for us to go in, then we go in. I've really been fortunate on mosquito bites this time. I bet I haven't bit, been bitten six or seven times, maybe. And then our our water tower. We've got a uh, pump downstairs 
good water pump and pressure tank. So we pump the water up here to the top. I thought I'd throw in a little bit of grilling action, actual uh, footage of the Fiesta, just a little bit to see how the upstairs operates and, and kind of how it works, what it's like up here when we're grilling. So that's it, that's a tour of our house. Um, again, I didn't really wanna go into the the uh, two brothers' houses downstairs. They're nice, neat, and ordinary. They're, I mean, orderly, ordinary. They're orderly. Uh, they keep a really nice house. It's not furnished like ours is, uh, as far as the, the tile and the decorations and stuff. They do their own thing, and that's fine. But uh, yeah, I enjoy, enjoy being here. Why wouldn't I? This is a dream. This is, was a dream. You know, the channel is called The Philippines Project and uh, I almost have to close my eyes out here. Uh, the channel is called The Philippines Project and this was definitely one of the projects. So we get out of the sun. So yeah, this was built over about a year, year and a half, probably at the most. And then that's, that's the, the, this top floor uh, you know, was put on, every, all the concrete was done, the plumbing, electric, everything was done. We came back in 2019, we put down all this, all this tile. Well, we did, we had somebody do it, but we were here during all the tile installation, pretty much all of it. Um, and you know, so we went back, uh, in 2019, we hadn't been, we didn't come back till March of 2022, March 17th, we got in Manila. And so we've been here ever since. And I'm gonna go back to the United States at some point, probably in June, but uh, I'm not trying to get in any hurry. I'll tell you, I'm enjoying my time here, uh, enjoying the Philippines. And uh, right now we got some work going on downstairs in our on our floor, we've got a, a little bit of a water leak we got to chase down and it's different than America. Uh, you got a water leak in America, it starts tearing up a lot of stuff. Well here, you got to tear out concrete, you know? So <laughs> that's kind of what we're dealing with. But it's a slow leak. We don't have to shut off our water or anything like that. But both of my brothers-in-law, they work construction full-time. So, you know, it's pretty handy to have them around and we pay them a little bit and they come up and they do whatever we need. and. You know, we work together as a family, you know. So anyway, that's my house tour. If you have any questions about the construction or just have a comment, please go down in the comment section and, and drop down your comment. Just type it out and I'll get it. And I like to respond. If you've ever commented anything on this channel, you know I'll comment back. So uh, also I'm celebrating today. I was gonna celebrate yesterday. We had 250 subscribers so pretty pumped about that actually uh 250 and um my goal is to get a thousand subscribers and i got up this morning and we've got 300 so that's even better and uh a lot of people are commenting a lot of people are going back and forth some other channels uh yeah it's just amazing to me and i appreciate everybody that stopped by you may just subscribe and just watch or you just watch and didn't subscribe maybe you subscribed commented and watched <laughs> you know hey my hat's off to you guys so again uh, like share and subscribe youtube seems to be putting my videos out so uh, that's because of you guys you know i'm trying to find the content that you guys want and so if you have any suggestions by all means drop down the comment section and i'll see what i can do have a great day
ride. <laughs>